Yo guys, welcome back to Unseen Adventures and I'm right here with my better half and I'm gonna interview her. And Monica, how long have you been blind? I've been blind since 2013. Okay, I'm okay. considered a high partial, which I have some sight, but I see mostly shadows. Okay, thank you for explaining for that for those that uh, are have vision and never really interacted with the blind community. A, hard par a high partial is someone that can see but has visual impairments also so they're not at 100 percent and then we have low partial and completely blind but yes next question baby and the reason you're going blind i have diabetes retinopathy and i also have lupus which causes blindness as well Ooh -wee. okay okay there's no cure for lupus um, it's an autoimmune disease yeah that's true that's true there's no cure and Third and final question. As a blind woman, what is one of the hardest things as as being blind that you um, think is the hardest? I think for me, the hardest thing is, um, first of all, not being able to drive. Um, I used to be very independent. I used to drive, like, go places by myself to Oakland, Las Vegas, and so not driving, and mm -hmm. then also, um, you know, it's, it's hard when you're blind and, you know, um, yeah. sometimes you need a lot of help, but people refuse to give you help because I don't use all my cane all the time. That's the thing I have a lot. Um, you know, if I ask a question, like if I'm at the store or whatever, and if I don't have my cane, I know it's not their fault, but I just feel like customer service. Um, if you're asking a question, it's not because I'm stupid or I don't know where the things are. I can't see it, you know? Like, I, for one thing, when I went to a store and I, I uh, didn't know where the Coke was and I asked them for the Coke and they're like, it's in your face, you know? So I get yes. very um, defensive, you know, when mm -hmm. it comes to that. But a lot of times it's because I don't use my cane as much as I'm supposed to. But that's one of the hard things is yeah is having to rely on somebody else, you know, because I've been so independent. Yeah, I, I can see that. And um, yeah, and even if I have my cane folded up or it's not in sight and I tell them that I'm visually impaired or blind, they give me that look. And I know it happens to you because you don't have your cane out. They give you a look like you're not blind or where's your stick? And they doubting you, even you're letting them know. And sometimes we do have trouble in that aspect as a blind folks that they give you the weird looks or, oh, it's right there in your face and, and give you a smart reply. But thank you again, yeah. Monica. And I just want to say it's hard also because they always say, oh, you don't look blind. But what does a blind person look like? E you know? Exactly. You know, I don't, I mean, I try to dress normal. I try to match still my clothes and everything. But that gets me mad when they say, oh, you don't look blind. I mean, mm -hmm. what are we supposed to walk around with a sign that says I'm blind? You know, so that's one thing that gets me upset, too, is that when people say I don't look blind, you know. So they don't wanna like help me or whatever because of that because I don't look blind. So. Alright, and once again guys like subscribe on Scene Adventures and we're out. Bye.